everybody. I hope you're having a good time. I'm Charles Barron again. Uh, I talked to you all last night. Um, so thank you. I hope uh, it was really an incredible uh, first couple uh, speakers with uh, Rob and Kevin. Uh, there's two messages I took away. Um, know your numbers and never quit. Know your numbers and never quit. And that's what we're here to do and here to help you with. Um, I also want to point out we are having a women's and women leadership in ag uh, uh, session tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I think that's now going to be the biggest uh, uh, session of the entire event. So 9 a.m. Uh, uh, women in ag. Uh, everyone's got a lot to learn from that. Okay. Um, well, I wanted to uh, lastly just thank everyone again for making the trip out, for coming to Omaha. I know it's a drive. I know it's a trip for everybody. And I can't tell you how much it means to us and how much it fires up our team. Uh, it fires up everyone wearing a black shirt out there. I hope you just take a moment, uh, say hello, introduce yourself. We want to know your stories. We've been to your farms. I hope you meet more people on, on the team uh, because we leave this so charged up knowing who we're working for, knowing what we're going to do every day, who we're going to battle for every day. And that's critical uh, for us, and, and we get such a charge out of meeting you. So please uh, just take a moment and introduce yourself if you haven't uh, to anyone wearing a black shirt. So thank you very much. Um, okay, now what I want to talk about are all the ways in which FBN can start helping your farm. Many of you have been with FBN for a long time. Many of you helped create FBN. Um, and now we've been able to roll out an incredible amount of new technology this year and new services to benefit you. So why was FBN created? Well, it was created by several farms. Several farmers who wanted to share information with each other to be able to create unbiased information, independent information. It was created to solve this problem that Amold talked about, the, the challenging nature of the structure of the industry, massive oligopolies on either side of you, information asymmetry, market asymmetry, um, power asymmetry. The key to that is building a network. The key to that is the strength in numbers. And the strength in numbers is really real. It is really real. And I'm going to show you what's, what's happened here just the last year. What we do is we democratize the information, meaning all of you are the creators of that information, and all of you are the beneficiaries of that information, as opposed to you creating it, someone else having it, someone else using it against you. Now you create the information, you become the commerce hub, you get the power. That's democratizing information. That's what FBN is all about. And it's grown incredibly quick, as Amol pointed out. 5,100 farms across the United States and Canada, almost every state. It's pretty astounding. But if you think about all of you here in the room and the, and the thousands of members of FBN around the country who are not here, you together farm an area of land the size of the state of West Virginia. It's a major land area. That's a, that's a really sizable portion of the United States. And to give you a sense of the scale, in the last six weeks, we've added the state of Delaware of farms. It's incredible. It's incredible how much uh, productivity uh, uh, you all represent. Now, what does that mean in terms of the data and the, the types of things we can start doing? Well, those of you who are at the first farm and a farmer may remember this. At that point, we had processed 22 million acres of data. By last year, we had processed 70 million acre events of data. By this year, we've processed nearly 120 million acre events of data. That means we've poured over 120 million precision files that are everything from harvest yield, chemical application, fertilizer application, all of that gets turned into uh, intelligence for you. Price intelligence. I, 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 was, I was really happy that uh, Kevin mentioned this at the end of his talk. Look at what's happened this last year. Farmer to farmer last year, there were 15,000 chemical and price records in price intelligence in FBN. This year, you added over 50,000 chemical and price records into FBN. All of that expands the intelligence on thousands of inputs, thousands of seeds, thousands of chemicals, uh, and other products that you now have uh, greater power over. That's the key of democratizing data. It literally turns the world into your experiment, it turns the world into your plot trial. So instead of just looking at a couple strips or a couple rows in your farm, you get to turn the whole world into your experiment. And when you can do that, we can uh, develop tools uh, to give you more leverage in the market and to make the market better for you. That's what FBN is all about. So we really thank you for participating. We really thank you for your engagement. 
And please, if there's anything we can do to help you outside, please come, uh, come find us. Okay, so what does it mean for margin and why are we talking about margin? And what can we do about it? Well, profitability is actually pretty simple. All you need is higher yields, you need lower costs, and you need better prices. The math's really simple. It's just extremely hard, okay? Winning the Super Bowl is easy. You just need to score more points than the other team. It's just incredibly difficult, okay? Uh, it's the same in farming. It's really hard. So how do you get advantage and leverage on each of these items? That's what FBN's doing. We're creating a profit system for your whole farm powered by the network of thousands and thousands of farmers around the country and now internationally uh, with farmers in Canada. Everything from input purchasing to analytics at the core of FBN uh, to being able to get you better prices and better margins in the market. Let's start with seed. Seed is at the core of FBN. It's, it's the most popular feature in FBN is, is FBN Seed Finder. Well, we've made several major updates to FBN Seed Finder to give you more information than ever when you go to purchase seed this year. What FBN Seed Finder does is brings the whole world together. It brings real world yields from everyone's farm anonymized, real world prices anonymized, and now genetic identity, product identity. So you can actually tell what's working and what is what. So let's look at what we've been able to do. Do traits actually pay? You all pay a lot for seed. Seed prices have kept going up in the last three years, even as your incomes have gone down. Well, we made a huge update. Every seed in Seed Finder is now broken out by its trait package. So when a, when a seed uh, comes in multiple packages, all the yield intelligence, the price intelligence, and the genetic identity, if there's any cross matches, are all in Seed Finder. It's all in there right now. So let's look at this, conventional versus stack traits. Here on the top, you'll see some conventional numbers mixed in there with some uh, smart stacks. Look over here on the yield, this uh, black column, very similar, within one or two bushels an acre of each other, okay? So what we did is we allow you now to search for any trait package that you're interested in, whether it's conventional or any type of resistance, it's very simple. We know that's the way you start your selection process when you buy seed. So now it's extremely simple to find seeds uh, uh, based on their trade package. Let's look at, are they paying off? Okay, this is corn. This is drawing from all the price data and yield data in FBN. We've normalized it by state. This is prices, net of discounts, uh, uh, smoothed out for state-by-state -state variations. Conventional varieties in FBN nationally average $175 a bag. Traded varieties average $265 a bag. That's a $90 a bag difference. $90 a bag is anywhere from 20 to $30 an acre, depending on your population. Yields by trait. Conventional varieties average 171 bushels an acre. Traded varieties average 174. Okay, that's across millions of acres of data. Not, not as much difference as you met. Now, there's many reasons why you might use traits, uh, and they, they may be extremely beneficial to your farm. Uh, so it's really important uh, that you hone in on exactly what your management plan is, um, because the differences can be quite stark. Let's look at beans. Conventional beans, $38 a bag, running all the way up to the uh, Roundup Extend, uh, the most expensive now, averaging $55 a bag net of discounts. You all may pay uh, very different prices depending on where you are. Conventional varieties average 54 bushels an acre. And then as you walk up, there's almost no yield difference until you get up into those uh, most expensive packages. So look at that. Just think about that for a moment. As you go and, and purchase traits, make sure it's worth it. Make sure you know your plan. Like Kevin said, know your numbers. If you don't know your numbers, how do you know what you're managing? What we found in FBN Seed Finder through all the data, through analyzing the decisions you've made, is we've been able to see what the impacts were. What were the benefits to using this information uh, for those of you who took the most advantage of it? Okay, what this says is if you planted the top yielding seed in FBN for your soil type that was ranked number one for your soil type in FBN seed finder or yield potential, you averaged about six bushels an acre better than if you planted some other seed. But look what happens over here. This says soils with at least 50 varieties, meaning a very dense data network was built around your farm. You had lots of friends participating in your area. We were analyzing more seeds. We could find higher yielders uh, for your location. The advantage jumped to 17 bushels an acre. That's the advantage to you of building a data network. 
because we're analyzing thousands of products that you'd otherwise never be able to see or consider, but we can surface that insight to you immediately through FBN Seed Finder. It's actually turning the real world into a plot trial across millions of acres, and it can bring really uh, quite uh, impressive uh, gains. Um, so please take a look, take a look. There's really, really valuable information in there for you. Okay, I want to talk about something a mole talked about, seed relabeling. Seed relabeling is probably one of the most uh, commonly known but uh, widely misunderstood uh, issues, meaning you told us this was an issue. Frankly, we didn't know how big of an issue this was before you told us. You had been telling us for years to look into it since we started as a company, told us to check this issue where uh, seeds are coming out uh, with different, uh, different brand names on them. Um, we frankly had no idea what would happen when we emailed you about this. And we kind of debated, should we do this, should we not do this? Uh, we like to build, there's a lot of other technology we want to build here. And so this planting, we said, well, if we don't ask the question, we're never going to find out the answer. Okay? You don't know what you don't know until you ask. So we just sent an email. We said, do you want to participate in this study? Send your, send your tags in. Okay? Two things happened right away. <laughs> Very interesting. The first thing, we got a lot of angry emails from seed companies. <laughs> okay? <laughs> a lot. Okay? Very angry. <laughs> okay. And we're sitting there going, hmm, what's this all about? Okay? We knew this might, uh, some people might get upset. But uh, we said, well, what do farmers think? Second thing happened. 2,000 tags got sent in within one week. <laughs> and the next week, 2,000 more. And the next week, another 1,000. By the end of the first six weeks of doing the research, frankly, we had no idea what we were going to find. 5,000 tags got sent in. By the end of the summer, over 9,000 tags. Everyone's still sending them in all across the country. Uh, incredible uh, interest from all of you. And because of that, we were able to do this research. So what the network could unlock for you is now, here's, here's the basic structure of, of uh, how traits and uh, uh, genetics are relicensed or uh, sold around the industry. Each of these are clusters of different seed companies. You can see the, the DuPont brands down there in green, the Dow ones up in purple, the Montanos over in brown. And in the middle here are the independents, um, the AgriAlliance and, and, and the like. Uh, over 120 different seed brands. You can see how much overlap there is and how much sharing goes on inside the industry. Okay? This would have been impossible to determine had you not participated. We had no idea what would happen when we asked this question. We had no idea how big of an issue this actually was. Okay? What you did was send in piles of tags. We got boxes of tags mailed to us. Um, thousands and thousands of pictures. I have to tell you something else. Some of the people who were the biggest contributors to this project were farmer seed dealers. Okay? Because if you're a farmer seed dealer, and many of you are, you want to know what you're selling to your neighbor. And many people told us how frustrated they were because they weren't being told by their parent company what they were selling. And in fact, in many cases, their parent company didn't know. Okay? The people above them didn't know what they were selling and if that was being sold by another company as well. Okay? Here's what we found. 40% of the corn seeds on the market, 47% of the bean seeds, 71% of seed, corn seed companies, 81% of soybean companies were, were doing some level of relabeling, or meaning the seeds, the variety ID and genetic trait package was, was similar or matching uh, to another seed with a different brand name. Meaning 40% of the corn products on the market in the seed industry are being sold by another company. Not 40% are identical, but they're available from somebody else. One company, two companies, sometimes 12 or more companies. Okay? Inside of the major um, agrochemical companies, we found, here's soybeans, enormous percentages of product overlap inside those portfolios. That's probably not surprising inside a big company where you, you assume there's a lot of sharing going on, but it was pretty surprising as to the extent of it. You look in Dow, uh, AgriLiant, and others, um, really, really high percentage, meaning all those brands that are in that family are, have very, very similar, if not identical, products um, uh, with different prices in different regions. Here's the numbers of what we found. Up to a $97 a bag difference in state for corn seed between two seeds from two companies. Same variety. $97 a bag. That's $40 an acre on the bag. $19 a bag in beans. 67% of you 
planted a seed that was sold through a different company. Could have been bought for less. Maybe you got a good deal, maybe you didn't. 17% of the planted acres in FBN were, were one of these seeds. So what do we do? We took that research, and in four months, we were able to put it into Seed Finder. So with the price intelligence, the yield intelligence, it's all in there. All you do is just click a seed. And if you click a seed, it'll show you what other seeds are the same. So I hope everyone has a moment to take a look at that. Uh, when you come outside the lobby, please take a look. Check out your seeds, okay? You could save a lot of money. In fact, you could make a lot of money. Seed relabeling could be a great thing for you, okay? If you can find a lower cost variety, or you can find better service, however you wanna shop. It's, it's, not, it's not our preference as to how you make the decision, it's just that you know what you're buying, and you know what you're paying. If you wanna pay more for service, that's great. If you wanna pay more for a uh, replant program or, or added factors, that's great. You just need to know. That's what FBN's all about. One thing the seed companies told us was that, hey look, the genetics are not, the, are the, 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 the seeds may be uh, similar, the varieties may be the same, but there's something else in the process, quality control, germination, other things that make them different. So we said, well that's fine, because that'll show up in the data. We'll be able to see that. Now, what we actually were able to do was we were able to look at, unfortunately, a lot of you planted the same seed from two different brands in the same field, but didn't know it. 7% of FBN members planted the same seed from two different brands without knowing it. And then we could look at those fields where we had side by sides and we could look at the yield difference. On average, about a 2.6 bushel an acre difference. Okay, so there's some difference. Um, 2.1 bushels an acre in soybean. So that data will reveal itself through the system. That's fine, that's great. That's what we want you to be able to do. So use the FBN um, seed intelligence system before you buy seed because you can learn a lot. Not only can you find higher yields, but you can find more reliable products for you and get exactly what you're looking for. That's what we want you to do. Of course, price transparency is a huge component of that. Seed prices can vary 100% or more within a state. There's zone pricing, there's all kinds of uh, aspects to the industry that you may or may not be aware of that impact the price you end up paying. Discounts, all manners of discounts, okay? We look at those net prices after discount and give you a sense in your state of what the market is, okay? You may or may not be able to get that price in your area, but we're showing you what the market is. So, if there's one thing I wanna leave everybody with here today, is what do you want to know? What else do you wanna know? What can we tell you? We wouldn't know the answer to these questions if we hadn't asked, and neither will you. So you ask us, please tell us, because we love this. We love the feedback we get from you. We have a station out there called Designing FBN. We want all of you to help us invent the technologies of the future. Invent the future of farming you want. That's what we're here to do. We're a technology company, we're a data company. We've got really wonderful and outstanding engineers, data scientists, uh, people from, from all across the country, and we want to put that uh, capability to use. You've built this network. So we want you to uh, help us. Uh, this is designing FBN station, please take some time, help us uh, uh, figure out, and please ask us the questions you want to know because, hey, you're all here, and we can poll, we can send text messages, we can do this, we can figure stuff out. So we've made a lot of other improvements to the FBN data system this year, uh, which I hope you take a look at. Um, your benchmarking has gotten a lot better. It's gotten more localized. It's now tuned down to a 50 mile radius. More farms participate in your area, we can bring that benchmarking much more local. That's the way the system works, more data. Uh, the more you can get uh, hyper-accurate, uh, hyper-localized results. We show you exactly how much data is in your area now. This was another major request. You want to see how many other farms am I really comparing myself to? So we do that. All you do is just hover over that little question mark. And it'll show you how many uh, fields or how much data is in your area. You can know what's behind it. That's transparency. We're always going to show you what's behind the information that you're seeing in FBN. It's anonymous, but we'll show you what's behind it. We've made a major improvement and this is coming out here this spring. Uh, part of it's available now in the timeline. So the syncing of data between your phone, the web, and the monitor. So you make a change on the FBN Ops app, you take a note, you adjust a, uh, a record, it'll update on the website. Something happens in the monitor um, that you then end up later uploading, it'll automatically create an event in your timeline. So you wanna go back and see what you did last year, field by field, just go into your timeline. It's gonna have your full 
field history, scouting notes, spray records, harvest files, planting files, everything you might want to know, you can put in there, as much or as little. The more you add, the more you're going to learn. Terrain maps. This was a big project by our data science team. Our data science team was able to map 40 million fields in the United States and classify them by their terrain features. Okay, we know terrain has a major impact on yield, um, the, the slopes, and if you've got big, you know, pan flat fields, you're gonna you're gonna be able to uh, get higher yields. We know that. It's a very important thing, and it goes should go into your seed selection, your fertility programming as well. So we classified 40 million fields. Okay, and you can tell when you're on a slope or a hilltop, and this is all in there. It's just free. It's part of FBN. It's in there for you. We break out your yields by your terrain. So when you go in and you click on um, that terrain map, or you go to uh, your natural features tab and analyze my operation, it's going to show you how your different terrain features are yielding. All this data will then also flow up into your seed selection. That's the way we want this to work. We want to help you get exactly the conditions that you have in your field as accurately as possible to help you make the best decisions possible. Satellite imagery. Many people are paying for satellite Im imagery. You really shouldn't have to. Okay, satellite imagery is widely available. We're bringing it in. Um, we've started to, uh, uh, we did this this year in a PDF form. It's going to start integrating into the product, and you'll see it start integrating into some of the mobile products as well. Uh, we want you to have that imagery right there with you. Satellite imagery can be very useful to you uh, in concert with other data and knowing how to use it on its own. Uh, you might struggle with how to use it exactly, but uh, in concert with the other data and the field information, it can be quite interesting. All of that also helps you fl flow into uh, an in-season yield forecast. We started experimenting with this last year for a number of you, and it worked pretty well. So by knowing the genetics, the, the rotation, and other factors about the field, monitoring with satellite weather, we actually can show you, yield, field by field, how you're doing and give you an update as soon as that uh, information changes, whether that's weather or a new imagery comes in or you make an, a fertilizer application. Uh, the model keeps updating. Now, it's not going to be perfectly accurate. Forecasts never are. They're not uh, perfectly accurate. They're a forecast. Uh, but they're an indication and they're directional signal. So with one field's looking healthier than the other, you might be able to see some of that from the road. You might not when the corn gets really tall. And this is going to help you. It's going to help you with your planning. It's going to help you know which fields to harvest first. OK. So there's a lot of new things in our analytics system, and we really want to help you. If anyone needs help with data, please come out to uh, the tables out there. Our team is here to help, um, and we, we really want to make sure you're getting the most out of FBN. As all of you know, last year uh, and, and the year before, we launched FBN Direct. The whole model of FBN is, again, to give you the whole power of the network. Put the network in your hands so that you become the central agent in the farm economy, not the industry players with more power, but you, the farmer, the value creator, the person taking all the risk, the person doing all the work. So we want to create a commerce system that puts you first, just like analytics can, just like data can. We want to make the business of farming better. That's what FBN Direct was created to do. Okay, everyone's familiar with the challenges you face when you have to buy inputs. Um, look at this. This is a, a, a recent price transparency report on chemical we just released last week. Hope you all get a chance to look at it. It's called the FBN Price Transparency Report. They look over here in the yellow. These are very popular products, Paramax, Atrazine, 2,4-D, Preaxor, Clefidum. This is price variation that we saw last year, 2016. You might have a 180% swing, 190% swing across the country in those products. Look at what we saw this year. Some of these products, 2,4-D, went from 65% to almost 300% spreads in the prices people were paying. 177% in Paramax, 221% in Atrazine, Clefidum, 223%. The price variations of volatility got worse, okay? They got, they got worse, they got more challenging. So that's the importance of transparency uh, because these products are actually, in most cases, pretty easy to ship around, pretty easy to get to your farm. You shouldn't have this amount of variability in the price of something that's very easy to get to you, okay? When you go and buy anything else that you buy in your daily business, uh, daily life, uh, you don't experience that level of price volatility. Um, it's, 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 really a, it's really quite a shame that, the, that this takes place. Uh, I should also note price transparency. Uh, Kevin talked about it. North American seed and chemical market is roughly $26 billion uh, of, of, of total business. Almost no prices put online. 
$26 billion industry, no prices put online. Very few, very few. I uh, can't think of too many. Okay, think about that. $26 billion. It's an enormous industry. Think about consumers trying to make those decisions. There are hundreds of thousands of American farmers. Hundreds of thousands. $26 billion, very few prices online. That's what the lack of price transparency means, and this is its impact. Okay, that's how you get that level of volatility. Let's look at an in-state difference from Roundup Paramax. Okay, 120% variability in the state of Illinois. 100, and, I can't read it, it's a little dark, 130% uh, closely in, in Minnesota. Meaning farms within Minnesota were paying almost twice as much or over twice as much for the same product. Nebraska, 98%. Okay, Indiana, 73%. Iowa, 71%. Meaning uh, uh, you could be paying almost twice as much as somebody else in your state. Okay? That happens because of the lack of transparency. A market has to have transparency. It's, it price is the fundamental signal in a market economy. If you don't have price signals, how do you know what to do? So we know buying inputs has always been frustrating. It's never been easy. There's no reason it shouldn't be, and we've wanted to create that. It should be simple, it should be transparent, and it should be unbiased. That's what we're working to create. We've just launched the FBN uh, Direct as a new online experience where you can get all this information, everything from the label and the rate to the price transparency to the mode of action. We'll show you the products you can get, and we'll show you if they're the same as other products in the market, because we, we've analyzed about 6,000 formulations and concentrations of products. You can see if a product matches another product or is or very similar, and you can see if you can get that for less money. Whether or not we have it, we just want you to be able to get it. We want you to be able to save. Okay, that's transparency. Same active ingredients, and then we do the math for you so it's not confusing. So if you're looking at two products, different active ingredients, the math on active ingredient is automatic, and you get apples to apples pricing. So if you want to compare two different products, it shows you exactly what the equivalent price is. And then an easy shopping cart, really simple. No complicated negotiations, no haggling. It's a shopping cart, really easy. Uh, uh, and it's really fun. Uh, we had to, uh, you know, every, everyone has Cyber Monday and, and Black Friday. I know some of you uh, participate in that. We thought, why, why shouldn't farmers have Cyber Monday for inputs? Uh, so, you know, we did that. And, and, and a lot of you started um, checking out the site, and I hope you uh, take a moment with the FBN Direct team to uh, take a look at that. Okay, we've really been beefing up our capabilities here to get things to you faster, uh, to get things on demand as quick as we can. We have 13 warehouses now around the country. Um, we've just created a major new hub in Des Moines, Iowa, over 100,000 square feet. There it is. See it all filled up. These are manned and staffed by FBN employees. So we can control the process, the inspection of the product, end to end. Uh, so you have much better quality control and much faster delivery here. And that model is going to help us uh, really get uh, products to you faster this year as you need them. That's what we want to do. Now, what was the impact of that? This last year, we made about 2,300 deliveries or so. Uh, we were able to expand about 400 new products for you, give you more choices and competition. The top farm savings this year that we were able to create $120,000. We were able to save a farm $120,000. And that wasn't 10% of his bill. That was a lot of his bill. That was just on the chemical line. Okay? $120,000. Now, obviously, some of you are in different markets. Some of you have different prices. We have a national price model. We have one price around the country. Everyone gets access to the same price. Um, everyone gets access to the programs. Um, but, you know, that's, that's the impact that price transparency can have for you. And, and that makes it incredibly rewarding for us when we're able to uh, uh, deliver that much value uh, back to you. Um, we've also tried to make financing as good as it possibly can be, uh, and this is our, our program we have right now, which is literally no interest, uh, extended terms all the way through harvest next year. So December 1, 2018, okay, no interest, um, and that is as farmer friendly as we can possibly make it. And that's what we want to be able to put forward to you. Okay. Now, I really want to talk about crop marketing because this is probably the biggest new area of FBN in the last year. As Amol said, there's a lot of things on your P&L uh, that you can control, and there's things you can't control. You can't control the weather. You can't control the markets. Okay? You can't control land prices. Um, there's some things you can control. And being able to improve your top line is probably the biggest way we can help you um, with profits. Now, if using the network and using the power of the network, there's really some incredible things that we can start bringing out. 
Let's look at the problems in the market. They're actually very similar to the uh, inputs industry. You have an information asymmetry between you and the, the traders out there. Massive capital asymmetry between the amount of trading you're doing and the hedge funds driving the market or other participants. Lack of access, okay? You're basically able to access who's in your area. Um, someone uh, told me quite, quite simply and eloquently, uh, one of our members said, um, I, I, I have to grow what people are buying. And whoever is the elevator in my area is what I'm growing, okay? That's lack of a market. That means you have lack of flexibility. What a network can do is reveal prices and reveal that information. It can empower you with capital and connections and can connect you to a broader market, bring more buyers to the table, create competition for your business. Competition gives you options. Competition is what is badly needed. What we want you to do is a concept we call the virtual elevator. We want you to be the virtual elevator give you the power that the elevator has, okay? Through a range of services and network-enabled services. Everything from production contracts, FOB offers, cash and spot, buyer access, market intelligence, brokerage, and logistics. That's putting you back in control. That's what we want. It starts with FBM Profit Center. We've built a data set, price intelligence, 4,500 buyers, 10 years of information. It's incredibly large. You all have access to it in your account. All you have to do is just activate it. It takes two minutes. Just activate it, and it's going to give you real-time quotes and bids every 15 minutes. It's going to know your location. It's going to tell you the most profitable place to deliver, and it's going to alert you to it automatically. Okay? So it can be incredibly helpful. Just put a price alert in there. You'll get a text message when you get the price you want in the market. Now, here's what the data says about being able to do that. We studied this. We studied those 10,000 uh, or 10 years, sorry, of price records, 4,500 buyers which I should mention, if any of you are buyers, if any of you have livestock operations and need to buy grain, you can post in FBN. You can buy from each other. Okay? Post, post, your, post your bids in FBN. Buy from each other. That's farmer to farmer. Okay? What we found was that naturally most of you sell within a, uh, a radius close to your farm. 54% of the time your best offer was within 20 miles. Meaning 46% of the time if you just expanded your willingness to deliver, you had a better offer. It's obviously inconvenient. You may, you may not have the trucks. You may not have the time. So what we've done is create something called the FOB basis offer. Instead of being a price taker, you tell us what you want. Tell us the basis you want, OK? It costs you nothing. Tell us the basis you want. We go out into the network, OK? We find uh, the most profitable uh, target basis we can identify. Okay? And then we bring it to you, and if you need to, we can haul to deliver to it, because you may not have the time or trucks or the ability to make that delivery. We did this uh, recently. We were able to bring a grower a nine cent a bushel premium by delivering 97 miles away. He would never have driven 97 miles to deliver the corn, okay? But we can, and we were able to bring that grower a nine cent a bushel premium. That's real money. That's the power of a network. Um, if you can have the logistics operation uh, of, a, of, a, of a large elevator, but now have that at your fingertips. This is called the FOB offer. Please come out. You know, we, we, we're, this is now available, um, and we would love to talk to you about it. Anyone is interested, um, this is a great offer. One of you described the industry this way. You know, working capital is key, especially uh, with marketing, but across the whole farm. Okay? And, and he said this. And it's really blew me away, and, and, and it's something we we're trying to work on. In the past, producers were financing the whole industry, meaning your cash goes out early. You're in the trough as you're buying inputs. You're waiting for the crop to come in, as Stephen said in his tweet, uh, you know, praying that you know, some, some amount more comes back to it. And he said, I'm tired of the industry using the bank of the farmer. The farmer as the bank. I never thought about it that way. We had never thought about it that way. But it's true. It's true. The industry uses you to finance itself. Okay? So your working capital you know, can look like this. Working capital is, is huge on your farm. Your cash goes out, and then maybe later in the year as you start to sell or uh, you get paid after delivery, um, you finally get made whole. Okay? And obviously you have other years worked in there. It's a little simplified here, but it gives you a pi the, the picture. Because uh, normally you have to pay early and you don't get paid until much later. So what we want to do is we want to change that. 
We want to reduce your working capital load by having better uh, contracts and offers for you. So what we've done is create something called a production contract uh, with FBN, and it has opportunities to get cash advances on the crop. You can get a price security, you get a fixed price out in the future. You get the cash up front in some cases, up to 25% of the cash up front. Uh, and then at the end, uh, when you deliver the grain, you get fast payment, 10-day payment terms, 10-day cash. Okay, that's the power of bringing the capital to you, taking more risk with you, um, as opposed to shifting the risk onto you. That's what we're trying to do. So that's the FBN production contract. We call it the total package. Uh, you can lock in your price well in advance. You can get additional savings on your inputs uh, through FBN Direct uh, if you want them. And then you get friendly and fast payment. Uh, and we're doing that right now. Uh, what does it mean for a farm? Well, we've done this with a number of you this year as we've uh, started experimenting and, and testing this. And here's a real case up in Montana, Yellow Pea. We were able to deliver when you net out all the, the benefits on the seed and the, the chem that we were able to deliver, the financing, the premiums, $47 an acre. Sometimes in other crops like soybean and non-GMO corn, uh, we've been able to drive far more than that. Okay, that's real dollars. $47 an acre is real money. Key to that is being a network. Okay? Each of you on your own only has access to what's available in the market or the brokers or other people who might show up to you. Well, we're a national network, okay? now an international network, and international companies, technology companies, even some of you farmers, are showing up saying, hey, I want to buy. I want to buy. That gives you more access. That gives you more of a market to work with. Uh, and there's some really interesting um, uh, technologies that we can now start bringing out. One thing that we've just done uh, is actually work on something called um, uh, high oleic soybeans. Some of you are familiar with this, a technology called uh, CRISPR or Talon. Uh, there's a company here today, Calix, who has now started offering this through FBN. It's the first gene edited high oleic soybean crop. This is absolute cutting edge technology. And what it can do is it comes with a full wrap premium programs, the seeds, financing, uh, and, and it gives you a chance to drive the future of the industry. This is a technology that's brand new, okay? And um, what we have is we have an early adopters program. Um, the Calix has, has made possible. Uh, they've got a lunch uh, session here. 100 producers, South Dakota, Minnesota, Nebraska, Iowa, uh, uh, you know, if, if folks are interested, uh, come check it out. This is a chance to be cutting edge, and what we're trying to do is bring those opportunities to you so you can get better, get better prices and better overall um, opportunities. Now, that's also true in what we're doing in specialty grains, non-GMO soybeans and canola. We've done this non-GMO corn, peas, uh, yellow peas, green peas, garbanzo beans, uh, all manners of pulses. Okay, we have these production contracts. Um, we're out there every day. Our buyer teams are trying to go get demand for you, trying to bring those companies to you. Um, and, and there's a crop marketing table uh, out here uh, where people can uh, explain to you the full programs. And so uh, come check them out uh, because there's some really interesting offers on the table including this, up to $40 million in contracts uh, that we've been able to uh, source for people uh, here today, up to $5 million in cash advances. Uh, they're, out, they're outside, so come talk. That's creating a network-powered profit system. Okay, if, if there's one thing um, that we want to make sure we do, it's that in everything we do, we're driving more profit back to you by, by, by creating that network. Uh, and that's, that's been the core of FBN from the beginning, Nothing has changed about FBN. Every one of these businesses, we go through our own set of internal uh, debates and discussion uh, to make sure it, it hits that farmer's first standard, to make sure it's going to uh, do something that benefits you. And if it's going to do something that benefits you, uh, then we're interested in experimenting, and we're going to uh, try and bring out as much as we can for you. So last thing we'd say is there is real strength in numbers. It's not a... It's not just a slogan. As you guys uh, as you can see, you know, this is, you know, it started with three, four farms uh, three years ago. And, and now it's become something much broader. And that strength in numbers is real. We want you to have it. We want you to take advantage of it. We know who we're working for. We're working for you, okay? And we love that. Nothing charges us up more than getting to meet all of you uh, from around the country. So we, we, we thank you for that. Democratizing the information gives you the advantage. That's how we... That's how we flip that the model we talked about. You've got to democratize the information, got to put you back in control. Okay? This is our basic view of the industry. Farming should be fair to farmers. <laughs> there's, no, there's no reason it shouldn't be. Everyone knows the quote from John F. Kennedy, uh, the farmer's the only man who pays retail, sells wholesale, and, and pays the freight both ways. 
Uh, nothing's changed in 50 years. Why hasn't it? The rest of the world has changed. It should change. And, and, and farming should be fair to you, uh, first and foremost, and, and, and bring consumers the products that they, they want, the food that you're creating. The industry should work for you. Not, you shouldn't be the bank of the industry. The industry should work for you, compete for you. That's what we're trying to do with the network. That's what Farmers First means. So we thank you. We thank you uh, for being here. We thank you for engaging with FBN. We thank you for, for all the information, all the ways you've, you've helped us uh, develop this system. And we want you to keep telling us. Keep telling us what you want. Keep telling us what we can do. Uh, that's what drives us. That's what gets us up in the morning every day as we come out and visit your farms and, and go to work for you. So thank you. I'd just like to, just a couple things on housekeeping here. Um, the rest of Farmer and Farmer will, will continue. Um, we have some great, really exciting uh, talks the rest of the afternoon. As we said, we have all the FBN demo stations out there, all of the new technology I talked about on display in the demo stations. You want to talk to our data scientists, talk about the research we could do together. The data science team is out there. There's a little data science booth. Uh, you'll see them. Crop marketing team's here. The direct team is here. Any way we can possibly help you, we're here. We have 140 of our people here to help you. Uh, if you've got data questions, direct questions, crop marketing questions, uh, research questions, anything. We want, we want to take this time uh, to really spend, spend some real time learning how we can solve more problems for you. Some of the